Hey there, this is Chris Sev. I am a developer advocate with DigitalOcean. Today, I wanna to talk about deploying a React app to DigitalOcean App Platform. Now, App Platform is a really cool platform because it's a platform as a service that lets us deploy full stack apps like an API, a backend database, and a front end all in one grouping called an application. But here, we have a React app which we can deploy as a static site and we get three free static sites with a DigitalOcean account. So here I have a brand new React application and it is on GitHub. And what I did here was use NPX Create React App, the Create React App tool to build out a brand new React app. And this is the React app you see here. So let's go ahead and deploy this to DigitalOcean app platform. And here I am in my apps dashboard. I have a couple of different apps already deployed here. So I'm gonna go ahead, click create app right here. So here I have GitHub connected as my source. I can also add another source, which you can use GitLab if you want. Now all you gotta do is go down to the repository, search for my React app. And this is gonna open up my GitHub repo right here and we can say next. And from here, it'll say my React app. You can click the region that you want to deploy from. I'm gonna go with New York the branch that we want to deploy from. And this is really cool, auto deploy code changes. So anytime we make an update to this specific branch, DigitalOcean will say, okay, well, let's go ahead and deploy their code to production. And I'll click next here. So here we go, we have Node.js detected and it detects Node.js because there is a package.json in this project but we don't wanna deploy it as a web service. We don't need Node to deploy a React application, right? So we're gonna go with static site. And it's a static site backed by a CDN, HTTP routes, we're gonna leave as the forward slash, so that's gonna live at the root of our application. Environment variables, we aren't gonna use any, but you can definitely add them here if you had things like React app API URL, and then you can add in your values there. And our build command is npm run build. And if I go back to our VS code right here, package.json, there is an npm run build script right here. And that's just gonna run all of the build commands for React app. And I go over here, add a database. We don't need one. Output directory, we don't need to change. We're just gonna let app platform handle that for us. I'm gonna click next here. And since this is a static site, we can deploy static sites for free. We get three free static sites. And we are gonna go ahead and do that. Monthly app costs $0, launch starter app. Now we're gonna watch as App Platform takes our code from GitHub, brings it in and deploys it to App Platform. And the really cool thing about this is we can deploy all of this directly from GitHub straight to DigitalOcean. We don't need to mess around with uh, droplets, any Git remotes or anything like that. It's just a one click from the dashboard and we're pulling straight from GitHub. All right, so it looks like our application is deployed successfully. We can click live app right here and see our app on DigitalOcean. And if we click to our local version, here it is. And here is our live production ready version. So that's looking good there. If I go back to the dashboard, there's a lot of fun things we can do here. We can deploy to GitHub and see this automatically deploy. We can go visit our deployments tab right here and see all of our previous deployments. And when we want to upgrade this React app into a more full stack application, maybe let's say we wanted to add an API, like we built our own Laravel API or a Strapi API, we can go to components and over here, go to create component and add in a web service. And that is something that we could use for an API or maybe you wanted to add a database or a worker, but all of those things are components that are gonna live in this application. And more to that, we can customize the static site that we already have deployed. This My React app is what we just deployed. We can go down here to environment variables, click edit and add things in here. And then we can use them in our application using that React app underscore to access those environment variables. So thanks for watching. It has never been easier to deploy React to DigitalOcean straight from GitHub. I'm really excited about App Platform and looking forward to deploying more of these static sites. Thanks for watching.